back again at Rosebury Topping. Well, it's looking similar to what it did last week, but there was definitely unfinished business. Oh, guys, only there. So I watched a video recently. Apparently, it's the hundredth anniversary of Olympus Cameras or Corporation. <coughs> and one of the guys towards the end of the video says something that really caught my ear. He was referring to a photograph he'd taken. Now I said, it's not a good photograph, but it's a great memory. And I replayed that about 10 times because that is absolutely fantastic. What an amazing scene, not original. Temperature's dropped a little bit. What an amazing vista. Moody sky, bit of drizzle, but I can work with that. Oh, onwards, that road, much easier. Oh, when you think you're fit, and you realise within 10 minutes of setting off in your car that you're not. Yeah, I can't lock the gate, because there's no thing to lock it onto. Oops. You've got to, haven't you? Many people look, but only a few actually see. Who wouldn't love a good cliche? One thing I'm noticing, I didn't notice last week, is the smell. Yeah, that lovely fragrance. They are drooping a little. Say the actress to the uh, Still retaining some of the colour though, and they're, they're certainly not dying away as they will do over the coming weeks. It actually doesn't look too bad from this, this angle. But I can imagine a swathe of bluebells there, leading you up to Rosebury Top in this lovely cloud on top. It is drizzly. It's somewhat drab, but I'm actually Rather liking that tree now. Hmm. If you go further over, further over there, and shoot just beyond that tree, it is quite barren down the way. So maybe, maybe I was a little unfair with the tree. That rain is coming in, and down jackets and rain do not go together. Yep, change your mind. Thumbs up tree. For some strange reason, there's only me here this week. I don't mind the clouds, but it's that drizzle and I've got a down coat on that just gets everywhere. That really fine mist on your lens. I mean, any rain on your lens is not good, but it's that really fine mist. I'm having to tilt my camera up, quickly set photographs, tilt it down, give it a good clean. I see, I don't mind the clouds rolling across Rosebury Top, and you may not be able to see it because it's getting, the dynamic, dynamic range is getting quite harsh. There is some lovely clouds over the, over the valley there. But it's the experience of being here. I'm sensing the theme with my vlogs, that it is more about the experience than the photographs. <clears throat> and I don't envy professional photographers, folk like Brendan Van Song or Thomas Eaton. The pressure of having to deliver. There's no pressure on me as an amateur photographer. Yeah, that tree actually doesn't work too badly. Yeah, if you're going to come here, I would come here very quickly because the bluebells are turning that pale blue. So they're obviously past their prime. Oh, decisions, decisions. There's going to be no lovely light. 
I am tempted to get across the other side of this field here to shoot across. That's tempting that. Nope, I'm going. Let's do it. So when photographing rosemary topping, what needs rosemary topping? It's gone. Different. Ooh. Not a bad angle actually. Well, as Johnny Cash or oh, some of the country person said, you've got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, and know when to bugger off of them. All good stuff. All good stuff. I mean, you feel you've lost something. If them HDR stitch together, I will quite literally eat my hat. Watch this space. Yeah. See ya. Forget the preamble. Mike wasn't plugged in. Genius. <clears throat> what were I saying? So I came here yesterday, did all the video, all the audio, and towards the end of the evening, when I was going to set the photographs, the weather just turned, it was awful. Um, raining, even with the lens hood on, the lens was getting a coating of that very fine rain, so the photographs I took were unusable. There's some lovely cloud. There's some lovely cloud. When I arrived, the cloud was that mush. Awful mush. So I'm hoping it sticks around for another hour and a half. But until then, I'm going to grab some photographs. As I said, in as I'm going to say, I'm going to use this field here, which may be barley. And I am going to hop over the fence and into the field. There's a lovely gap around the edge, so I won't be spoiling any of the crops. I want to get as low down as possible. 16 by 9, 16 by 10. A nice wide panoramic photograph. I probably will pop down to the bluebells, which are just over the brow. Looks like it's going to stay dry there's a huge amount of clowns clowns clouds on the horizon i'm hoping they just part yep so we'll get i'm going to get this photograph here i'm going to get down there and see what we get i really wish i'd have vlogged today as you can see the light is much better than it was yesterday. It's nice and quiet and if there's already a bit of colour on the horizon. I can't quite see the horizon from here. If I get a break, they're gonna go nuclear. The moment the light's quite flat, there's a slight haze all around. But as you can see, the clouds are absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> see if I can see it. Obviously, no gimbal. And I've got the white balance on God knows what. It's good. I believe the sun's going to sit over there. And as you can see, no brakes, I can't actually see the sun. <clears throat> yeah, the sun is right behind that cloud and there's no gap at all. Sunsets now. A 
At least it's not raining. I shall give it another 10 minutes. And I'll come back tomorrow night. If they were to illuminate, my bloody God. Anyway, probably going to be it. A couple more photographs out of home. Take care. See ya.